Welcome to training on how to set up FERPA proxy. To begin, let's talk a little bit about what FERPA is. FERPA stands for the Family Education Rights and Privacy Act. It ensures that students have certain rights regarding their educational records. Under FERPA, the university may not disclose student records except to UNC officials with a legitimate educational interest without the student's consent. For more information about FERPA or FERPA Proxy, please visit the Office of the Registrar's webpage, unco.edu slash registrar. So, what is Proxy Access? Proxy Access allows you to authorize a proxy to view information on your academic record. You can also establish a passphrase allowing UNC representatives to share information that you've authorized to be released specific to proxy. Who is a proxy? A proxy can be any individual that you grant access to through the proxy access process via the portal. What is a passphrase? A passphrase is a unique code or word that you assign to each proxy you set up. The passphrase is required when your proxy attempts to obtain information about you. University administrators will need to confirm the passphrase prior to releasing authorized information about you. This is done to protect your FERPA rights. Let's walk through how to set up a parent or a guardian with FERPA proxy. Navigate to your URSA portal, ursa.unco.edu. And under the Student tab, beneath the Student Application section, you'll find Parent or Guardian FERPA Proxy. Click on the link to open your proxy management tool. In this example, there are currently two people with proxy access. To add another individual, simply click on Add New. Then, enter the information required starting with first name, last name, and email address. You'll verify the email address, then select this proxy's relationship to you, either parent or third party. You'll notice that a default start date and end date appear in your FERPA proxy, which you can change, lengthen, or shorten, depending on what you want to do. I'm going to leave it as a default for this example. Next, you can add a description of who this proxy is, so I'll put parent. Then you can create a passphrase. Again, your proxy will use this passphrase if they contact the university to ask for information you've authorized to release. Now, select the authorizations you wish to grant this proxy. You'll have a couple of choices. You can copy an existing proxy access, select all, or select the individual areas to release. Once you have selected the authorizations, click Submit. You'll notice that a new proxy has now been added. You can edit or delete this proxy at any time. Once you see the new proxy listed, click Edit. Here, you can click on Email Passphrase to send an email to your proxy with the passphrase you've set up. Next, your proxy will receive four emails. Those emails are set up by steps. Step 1, Step 2, Step 3, and an additional email providing directions on how to log into the proxy portal. Have your proxy follow the directions in each email so that they can set up their account to access information. Once they've set up their proxy account, they'll have a login and will be able to access your student records based on authorizations you provided. If you have any questions about FERPA proxy or how to authorize a proxy, please contact the Office of the Registrar at registrar at We hope you found this information helpful. Thank you.